Today we're going to show you how to add movies into iBooks author projects. For those of you that are new to the iBooks author suite, but you've used Keynote or Apple's Pages program, you'll notice that the interface is very similar. So there's not much of a learning curve there. However, when it comes to adding media content, such as movies, it can be a little bit challenging. So let's head over to one of our pages within iBooks Author. As you can see, I can try to drag and drop a movie, but I get an error message. And this error message is basically telling me that the file I'm uploading is not a supported type. And we were using the .mov extension. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to open this movie and convert it in another program. Fortunately for Mac users, all you need to do is open your movie within QuickTime. And as you can see here, we've got our movie open and we're going to go to File and Export. And we're going to look at the format option at the bottom. Right now we've selected Mac and PC. This was the format that did not work in iBooks Author. But what we want to do is we want to select the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV option. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a higher resolution movie. So once you've selected this option and named your file, all you need to do is hit export. And in this case, this movie is going to take about 10 minutes to render out. However, I've taken the liberty to already create a version that's iBooks author compatible within QuickTime. And all you need to do is just like before, drag your movie in. So here we have our movie finally with an iBooks author. And you can drag it and drop you know, into iBooks author and you can move it around and you can scale it. And then when you go to actually run your iBooks author project, your file will actually play. So there you have it guys. That's how easy it is to add a movie to iBooks author. You don't have to be a video file to convert movies. You can do it all from within QuickTime, which is included on every Mac. So should you have any questions or you need help, don't hesitate to contact me. As always, guys, thanks for watching.